tonight, the 15, 15, and three, sixth place Stratford Cullitans host the 7, 25, and three, ninth place Brantford 99ers. Good evening, welcome to Almond Arena in Stratford, Ontario. I'm John Molson. Rogers Television presents GOJHL Midwestern Conference action. The Cullitans are looking for their third straight win tonight. They moved back to the 500 mark on Sunday with a 4-1 victory over the Elmira Sugar Kings. Trevor Sauter had the game-winning goal. The 99ers dropped a 6-3 decision to the Kitchener Dutchman last night. Guy Palillo had two late goals to draw the 99ers close, but Mitchell Smith ended any chance of a comeback with an empty net goal. Starting in net for the Brantford 99ers tonight is Andre Kier. He has a one loss record of 1 and 12 on the year, a 4.86 goals against average and a .875 save percentage. Starting goaltender for the Stratford Cullens is number one, Michael Pessendorfer, as Bastion lines up at center opposite Patrick McKelvey to take the opening draw. Passendorfer at eight and six in the one loss column, a shootout loss on the year, a 345 goals against average and a .882 save percentage. McKelvey winning the op opening draw to Killens on the left side of the blue line, dumped in down the far wall. Ferris backhands it around the net. Palillo picks it off, the pass to Atkins off his left skate. Killens with the puck once again, backhanding it out of play. 21 seconds into period number one. The 99ers dropping a 6-3 decision last night to the Kitchener Dutchman. The 99ers 11 points back of the final playoff spot held by the Brampton Bombers. Brantford with one game in hand, but time starting to run out. Shot by Adkins off the top of the blue line and they score. Nathan Bastion putting in the rebound. No, it looks like Adkins with the second rebound. Adkins side of the net and then getting a second whack at the rebound putting it in behind Passendorfer, 32 seconds into period number one. Dumped down the near board, Zamenko picks it up, plays it down the near wall. Josh Miller backhanding it down the wall, Brooks throwing it down the board. Adkins from Alvestad at 38 seconds. Briscoe at the half wall, Sauter checking his man. Scotty Penwarden picking it up inside his own blue line, skating past center, Zamenko throwing it in now, Pessendorfer out to play it, and Killens wraps it around the far wall all the way back into Brantford territory. Versami up to the blue line, Versami a scratch in last night's game, or that was Alex Deleuze, excuse me, for Sammy wearing number seven, and Shane O'Brien with a shot, Kier juggling the rebound, but hanging on with the left glove. So the 99ers on the scoreboard first at 38 seconds. Drawing first blood, looking to get their eighth win on the year. Draw one by the Cullitans, Cummings takes it away. Versami now, as mentioned, the scratch in last night's game, losing the puck at the near wall, Cummings backhanding it at center, and the short shot in by Trevor McDonald before play is whistled down.
Face off beside the Stratford blue line. Versamy to take the draw, Stratford winning it. McKelvey to the defenseman, intercepted by Harthol. He goes to the near corner and puck, the puck deflecting out of play. Cummings and Plea on the two 12s tying up in the near corner and the puck deflecting off of Pleon up and out of play. McKelvey winning another draw. Pleon with it behind his own net, skates out to the left side of Pessendorfer, and the pass too far for Tyson Baker. Drew Gross on the far side. Play at half wall, Cummings tries to dig it out, tied up now with Gross who spins around and throws a pass to the opposite side. McKelvey in behind the net, Gross the centering pass, the hard shot by Heyman. Heyman in the high slot, hammers it over the Brantford net. A good chance there for Heyman to tie the game. Less than three minutes into period number one. Shot kicked aside through the padding of Kier. Ferris plays it up the wall, but it's dumped right back in from the far glass by Jake Leon, who goes off on a change. Atkins through the neutral zone, finding room over the right circle, and the pass to Palillo broken up in the slot. Stratford heading deep the other way. Wetlawford checking his man in behind the Brantford net. Hits Zamenko out the far side. Killens at his own blue line. The pass hits the stick of Zamenko. Wetlawford in behind the net. Leaves it, and Nathan Bastian takes it for the 99ers. Killens inside his own blue line. Quick pass to Templeman. Templeman backhands it up the wall. It's thrown around the boards by the Brantford defender, Deleuze, and Atkins now from center, moving over the blue line, flips a pass to the left side to Bastian, and the shot wide of the net down the near side. Palillo turns around, plays it back in behind the net for Atkins, centering pass, hops off the stick of Atkins, Zemenko there as well, and it's shot back in by Fitzpatrick. Killens now standing in behind his own net for the Stratford Cullitons. Camacho with the turnover, Brooks turning it over in neutral ice, Cummings to the other side. Palillo over the blue line, just past the red line, the shot by Camacho hitting the midsection of Jeff McArdle. Sauter pass down the right wing. Brooks losing possession, keeping it on side as Killens at the right side of the blue line, poking away at it, side of the net. Devin Croft, and now he's tied up against the boards by Cole Cummings. Kevin Fitzpatrick in there as well as the whistle goes. The Stratford Cullitons looking for their 10th home win on the year. Croft wins the draw to the left side and the shot by Miller wide off to the far corner. Penwarden dumping it in, it hits the skate of McArdle. McArdle regroups in behind his own net, shot in by Ferris, picked off by Sauter, and the quick turnaround, the shot by Mitch Brooks. So Sauter able to force a turnover past the red line. Sauter forcing the turnover from the red line, excuse me, just before his own blue line. Passing off to Brooks, and Brooks the shot inside the right circle. Kier sharp to make the save and keep the 99ers on top. Mitch Adkins from Elvistad at 38 seconds, and the 99ers with the current 1-0 lead. Heyman the shot, Wetlaufer gloves it down. The shot, they score, but it's waved off. Templeman side of the net. The shot from the top of the line by Heyman. Wetlaufer in the crease, gloving it down with a right hand. 
The shot on the backhand, Nathan Templeman grabbing the rebound out the far side underneath the right circle, but the goal waved off as the net knocked off on the near corner. Heyman wins the draw by kicking the puck with his right skate. Back to the defender, Curry over to Killens. The shot directed to the far corner by Kier, the Brantford netminder. Stratford now on the power play. Kier out to play the puck, wraps it around the boards looking to clear, and Bastion shooting at the length of the ice. Stratford at 24.5% on the power play, fourth in the league. Bramford at 73.2, 27th in the league. So Bramford with some work to do on the penalty kill. The Culletons looking to use their power play, ranked fourth in the league, to tie this one up six minutes into the game. Killens to O'Brien, O'Brien keeping it onside momentarily, but Adkins getting enough of the puck to knock it perhaps an inch over the right side of the line. 46 seconds in, or 46 seconds left in the penalty to Nathan Ferris of the 99ers. McKelvey to take the draw inside his own line off the previous offside. Wins the draw to the defender. Miller to Pleon. Pleon misses the pass. And Atkins looking to pick it off at the far board and move in shorthanded. McKelvey with some speed around the left side. Tripped up at the end line by Alvestad. Miller to the other side, the shot. The nice deflection by McKelvey. Jake Pleon with a hard shot along the ice. McKelvey in between the two circles looking for the redirection with 17 seconds left in the 99ers first minor penalty. McKelvey back to the line, shot by Miller just wide far side. McKelvey right side, shot partially blocked comes back to Miller on the other side, cross ice feed for McKelvey, Pleon with it now, backhands it up the half wall. Gross has it chipped away, Cummings unable to clear the line. Zamenko finally able to do so as two men change for the 99ers. Cummings back with a shot. Here's a chance for Zamenko in the slot. And Tyson Baker Shooting it out for the Culletons. Pleon chips it from the near side. And the 99er goaltender, Kier, covering up with the glove out the far side with 12.32 to go, first period of play. The 99ers with a 1 0 lead on the Mitch Adkins goal. Adkins getting a shot at the far end and the rebound. So the 99ers on their first possession of the game, drawing first blood at 38 seconds off the assist from the left side of the line from Keegan Alvestad. Face off headed to the other end, right circle. John Ney and Sauter to take the draw, or Trevor McDonald, excuse me. McDonald, the drop pass to the defender, shot from the far side, the length of the ice. McDonald shoots it to the corner, Nick Nigro near boards. McDonald now at the far half wall, gets it back, backhands it down the line. Alvestad to the corner, Nigro there as well. And the turnaround shot by McDonald, picked off by Ferris of the 99ers and shot the length of the ice down the far corner. McArdle tries to clear the puck up ice. It hits the midsection of John Ney. McArdle now tied up behind the net by Ney. Deleuze right side, the shot wide of the net. Adkins in behind 
the Stratford net. Top of the line, Nigro, blue line, left side, the shot off the outside of Duluth. Bramford able to clear on the attempt by Adkins. Killens now the shot up to the red line. Del er, Zemenko touches up. Bastion digs it three. Throws it up the wall. Palillo at the top of the blue line. Can't contain it. Shot right back in by the Cullitans. Curry looking for room down the far side. And now Killens dumps it in from the neutral zone around the board's far side. It's cleared out. Miller from his own blue line. 29 seconds to the midway point of period number one. And Miller shooting it off the board near side. It takes a funny bounce off a crack in the boards. Coming right to Kier. Kier almost misplaying it out the near side. But the 99ers maintain the 1 0 lead. Versami shoots it in from the right side. The whistle going four seconds to the 10 minute mark. A fresh set of legs out for the 99ers. Sauter losing the draw. It's tipped top of the line by Bastion to the near corner. Palillo playing it back for Alvestad down the half wall. Throws it up around the boards and Bastion trying to go up over the back of Trevor Sauter to make a body check. Adkins half wall, Bastion, Alvestad inside the circle right side. Palillo tied up. Josh Miller off to the sin bin for interference. So the 99ers to the power play. Bastion the shot. Nay looking to tip it in front off the far side. Bramford at 12.2% on the power play. 28th in the league. Briscoe side of the net. The shot high up into the upper body of Pessendorfer. The 99ers with their sticks raised, but no signal. Nothing to indicate a Brantford goal with 9.05 remaining in period number one. Penwarden to take the draw with Harthold off on his right wing, Briscoe to the left. Briscoe gets it, drops it back to Zemenko on defense, plays it around the board, Deleuze, and before Deleuze could move up for another opportunity, it's chipped up and down the ice by Tyson Baker. Harthol at center, Killens tips it through the neutral zone, picked up at the dot by Deleuze. Zemenko back to Deleuze, and Deleuze from the red line, shoots the puck to the near corner. The referee signaling a delayed offside and a faceoff back inside the Brantford zone. Heyman to take the draw, wins it to Pleon and the shot by Jake Pleon off the outside of the right shoulder of Kier, shot by Pleon. The rebound in front, Heyman getting two whacks away at it. A near deflection on the first opportunity. The short backhand to the near side with the second opportunity. And Pumwarden with it now shoots it down the glass as Miller skates to the bench and the Cullitans return to full strength. Harthole inside the line. Bastion at the red line, a hard body check by Pleon, a step over the red line. Camacho shoots it the full length of the boards, and now the Stratford defender in behind Pessendorfer.
the shot in by McArdle. Off the near corner, Kier out to play it. The right winger taking it away for a second before Bastion heading the other way. That was O'Brien at the far side before Bastion played it inside the Stratford blue line and the shot by Alvestad out of play out the far side into the netting. The Cullitans with a 2-1 lead in the season series. The 99ers getting their only win back on October the 24th, a narrow 2-1 victory. Stratford winning the other games 4-0 and 6-2 on November the 15th and September the 20th respectively. Templeman over the right side moves around Fitzpatrick looking for Vandergunst with the centering pass. Play in the corner now, Templeman and the shot from the right circle by Shane O'Brien covered up by Kier. Kier cutting the angle at the top of the crease, slightly angled to the far side to make the save. Kier sharp in this first period to keep the 99ers out in front. Kier the busier of the two netminders. Curry to the far side, pass for Wettlofer. Zemenko checks his man. Vandergunst side of the net, the shot, the rebound. Templeman with two chances. Templeman with two earlier good chances off to the near side. Puck deflecting out of play into the penalty box off to the slight left of the center ice red line. Sauter to take the draw. Ney wins it, plays it down the board, but the Stratford defender taking it away and playing the puck just to the right of the Brantford goal for an icing. Exactly six minutes to play in the first. Face off off to the right of Pessendorfer. Miller playing it around the boards out the near side. Sauter through center, back checked by Briscoe. Losing the puck in the process. Play at the half wall now. McArdle back for Miller and his shot hitting the stick of Ney and deflecting up and out of play in behind the Brantford net. Sauter to take the draw. He wins it back to the defender, Pleon. Pleon plays it up the boards for Mitch Brooks. Brooks in behind the net for Croft, and Croft plays it to the, back, to the right side. Heyman tries to play the puck back down that far side, but it hits the stick of Briscoe and goes out of play. A face-off now from the right circle. McKelvey in on the draw. The 99ers, Briscoe wins the draw down the left wing. Penwarden plays at the other side. The play broken up. The shot on goal by Tyson Baker. Baker losing his stick. The body check by Ney on the far side. Another hard hit by Van Loyen and the shot by McKelvey. A snapshot along the ice, just wide, near side. Penwarden now losing his stick, so one player aside now losing their stick within the last 30 seconds. He shoots and scores! Jake Leon along the ice, in between the legs of Kier. The shot inside the right circle. The cross-ice pass to Jake Pleon, and Pleon 
tying the game up at one with 4.42 to go in the first. The Stratford Cullitons looking for home win number 10 on the year, overall win number 16. Stratford moving to 500 on Sunday night, looking to move to 16, 15, and three if they can win this one tonight. Brantford, of course, looking to get themselves back into a playoff race, trailing the Brampton Bombers by 11 points with 14 games to go for that final playoff spot. Four minutes to go, Pessendorfer plays it up and around the boards. Pereira plays it out through the neutral zone. For Sammy, plays it down the far side and a penalty coming up as Curry touches up in the far corner, perhaps Curry getting a high stick out. The 99ers to their second power play. Palillo, the back pass on the one draw, taken away by Killens. Killens plays it up the board on the backhand and Kier out to play the puck. Adkins for Palillo. Palillo over top the circle, drops it back for Alvestad. Atkins in behind the net, played from the far side in behind the Stratford goal by Ney. Alvestad back down the right wing for Atkins. Atkins moving into the slot looking for his second goal. Bastion cross ice feed for Alvestad. Alvestad plays it up the wing for Palillo and it's broken up by Pleon. Whistle going, Alvestad over the left side of the Stratford line, but an interference call coming up. Adkins to the box, so the teams will play four on four for a minute 10 before the Culletons go to a 50 second power play. Heyman to take the draw, left circle. Brantford zone. Ney winning the draw, pushes it up the right wing to Briscoe. Briscoe tries to cut to the near side. He's cut off by Miller. Miller, a nice defensive play to take an opportunity away from Ney at the near corner. Zamenko to Deleuze. Deleuze backhands it up the right wing. Ney losing possession. A high pass off the glass by Templeman, and it's shot right back in by Deleuze. Zamenko from center, plays it deep into the Stratford zone. Miller up the boards, the puck bouncing off the skate of Heyman. So Briscoe plays it back deep for Brantford. Briscoe the back pass, this time picked off by Heyman, who goes off on a change. Ferris plays it around the wall. It rings out the far side. Harthold off the boards, far corner, and it bounces right back to Pessendorfer, who covers up with the glove at the far corner. Inside of two minutes to go now, first period of play. Mitch Atkins off the Keegan Alvestad assist. At 38 seconds, Alvestad the shot off the left side of the blue line, and Adkins off the second rebound, depositing the puck along the ice at 38 seconds. And then Jake Pleon at 442, or with 442 left in the first, blasting a shot from the right circle in between the pads of Kier 
and the Cullitans tying it up as we approach the first intermission. Half wall back to Curry, shot by Curry, deflects into the corner off the forehand by O'Brien. Curry top of the line, fakes a shot, shot by Killens. The rebound coming out, hops over Killens, or Sauter's stick rather, as he was tied up by Harthold. The 99ers able to clear, and the abbreviated power play for the Cullens about to come to an end. Fitzpatrick plays it back to neutral ice, but Jake Pleon playing the puck with a high stick with 53.2 seconds to go in the first. So Pleon playing the puck with a high stick and the face off inside the Stratford line as a result. Down the boards, Gross throws it along the far side. Van Loyen around the near side, throws it out the far corner, McArdle playing it right back down the boards. McKelvey, here's Drew Gross, and Drew Gross breaks free down the near side, tries to flip a high shot up and over Kier. Gross with some open space down to the near side looking to put the Cullitans out in front very close to the first intermission. Gross now going off to the Stratford dressing room. Perhaps slightly injured on that forehand shot. Maybe overextending his arms trying to flip the puck over top of Kier. Curry the shot in. Deflecting off to the boards as Kier with his right pad. Adkins backhands to Bastion. Partial break by Bastion. He shoots and scores. The 99ers out in front. Adkins passing to Bastion. Bastion free down the right wing with all kinds of space. Slid it back to Adkins. And Atkins in the slot slides it down below the right pad of Pessendorfer. And as Versami takes the draw at center ice, it looks like the 99ers will have the lead at intermission. So Mitch Atkins with his second. So at 19.52, Bastion with the good scoring chance. Adkins and Bastion with the two on one. Bastion getting in behind the defense, sliding the puck back to Adkins. Adkins with his second, Jake Pleon with the only first period Stratford goal. And at the end of the first period of play, it's the Brantford 99ers two and the Stratford Cullitans one. Head coach Phil Westman of the Stratford Culleton joins us now. Phil, we last saw you Sunday night against the Elmira Sugar Kings. Elmira a team with 53 points on the year, an experienced Elmira squad, yet you came away with a 4-1 victory on Rogers Television. What was the key to your success on Sunday? Well, um, you know, you know, we keep, we came prepared to win uh, that night. We. After the Christmas break, we kind of shut down. We had uh, six hours of practice leading into Sunday. And we're, the way our team's setting this year, you know, kind of in the middle of the bottom of the pack, we knew we had to get it off to a good start. So so I think it was a it was big preparation for Friday's game against Cambridge. And, and again, we refocused Saturday in, in practice and got ready for Cambridge. So I think we caught a, we caught a very good team a little off guard, um, you know, in their home rink, uh, just, just the way we prepared and got ready from the Christmas break. 
Now, tonight you face a Brantford 99ers squad in ninth place. Brantford struggled a bit this year. At two points in the year, they've had both a nine-game losing streak and an 11-game losing streak. What's your strategy going into tonight's contest? You know, basically our strategy never changes from night to night. You know, we, we need to have puck pressure all over the ice. We need to have good energy from our hockey team. And, uh, you know, we just need to play consistent no matter if it's a ninth-place hockey team or a first-place hockey team. The biggest key to our success has got to be consistency and discipline in our hockey team. You're two points back of the Cambridge Winter Hawks coming into tonight. What's your focus through the rest of the season in terms of moving up in the standings or what is your goal as the playoffs come around? Well, you know, the, the biggest goal is, is to be ready for playoffs. So regular season is, is just basically, in my mind, a 49 game uh, you, you know, schedule to get, to get ready to, for the playoffs. And then the real season begins. So what we want to do is build as a team, make sure we got good team character and good uh, good chemistry amongst our dressing room, you know, and, and then focus into who we're going to play and, and get uh, get ready for that. So we want to, obviously you want to get as high as the standings you can for home ice advantage, but, you know, home ice advantage goes as far as the first game. And, you know, sometimes, um, you, you know, if we can steal that first game on the road, we're coming back home uh, up one to the Almond Arena, and that's a good spot to be in. So we'll, we'll just prepare. Phil, thanks for joining us tonight. Trevor Sauter skating to the opening draw, the second period for the Culletons. Bastion for the 99ers. Bastion wins it with a backhand, but it's dumped down the far side by Josh Miller. And the puck going out of play just seven seconds in to period number two. Mitch Atkins with the two first period goals for Brantford at 38 seconds and at 9.52. The Culletons win the draw, throw it deep to the far corner. Sauter playing it around the boards for the Stratford right winger, now falling in the corner. He's tied up, Ferris with the right arm over his shoulder. That was Devin Croft. No call on the play as Ferris picks up the disc behind his own net. Ferris out to Palillo, the lead feed at center for Bastion. Bastion tipping it in and going off on a change. Wetlawfer far side now, plays it down deep. Deleuze plays it away from the Cullitans, shoots it back to the neutral zone. It's drawn right back in. Vandergunst now behind the Brantford net. Wetlawfer turning around at the right circle looking for some room, partially knocked off the puck by John Ney, and Jake Pleon plays it back down the board, far side. Briscoe throwing it into traffic, trying to clear the puck. Deleuze finally does so. Penwarden now over the right side, and as Penwarden looks for a shot over the right side of the line, he's tripped up, and Mitch Vandergunst to the box for the Culletons for a hook. The 99ers to their first power play of the second period, looking for goal number three on the night. Adkins with both tallies for the 99ers, back in period number one. A minute 27 into the second frame. Tonight's game brought to you by Rogers Television. Played around the boards by Pleon. Alvastad stops it there, plays it back down in behind the net. Palillo to the far corner. He's hit on the right shoulder with a body check by Curry. Stratford able to clear the zone. And Camacho behind his own net, looking to set up the play, throws a pass down the right wing. It's picked off by Pleon and thrown inside the Brantford blue line. Short-handed, a shot there by McAlvey. Gets it back on the return feed by Curry. 
in behind the defense. McAlvey, the shot. McAlvey going to the backhand, ran out of room at the far side and the long two-line pass for Ney. Ney right back the other way. His shot off the end boards. And now end-to-end -end rushes both sides with 56 seconds to go in the Stratford penalty. For Sammy, he plays it down the wall. He's hit hard on the far side by Killens. Another check by McArdle on Cole Cummings. Penwarden from center turns around, changes his mind off the McArdle forecheck. And Cummings, the shot from the half wall left circle, covered up by Pessendorfer. Cummings in the draw with Heyman. Heyman wins it, places the puck on the stick of McArdle. McArdle now wrestling with Cummings. Both men fall in the near corner. Centering pass, Penwarden for Zemenko. Briscoe with 11 seconds left in the Stratford penalty, looking for one last shot. Cleared down the ice, Nigro looking to move in short-handed, so Kier plays it up the wall. Nigro by the end line. Zemenko plays it out to the left side, and Stratford now from their own blue line, Curry playing it up through center for Nigro. Briscoe four checks, bodies his man off the puck. Stratford playing it down deep inside the near line. Heyman in the slot, the shot wide. Fitzpatrick and Nigro tie up behind the net. Zemenko comes away with it, knocked off by Brett Heyman. Heyman goes to play the puck at the near end line. Digging free is Nigro and he plays the puck off the wall. Zemenko behind the net gets his feet tied up, nearly losing the puck to Devin Croft. Miller breaks up play at his own blue line and Heyman off the pass from Croft trying to shovel the shot in the far side but the shot by Heyman partially blocked and the disc moving off to the near side. Souter turning around, dropping for Miller, the shot wide, shoots and scores! The shot from the left side of the blue line and Jordan Curry, well, Sauter first across the line. The shot moving off the left side of the blue line, hitting the end boards and Sauter grabbing the puck off the board near side and depositing the puck along the ice to the near corner with 15.04 to play in period number two. The Cullitans tie this one up at two. Cullitan goals are number 18, Trevor Sauter. Assistant number four, Josh Miller. And number 17, So Miller from the left side of the line, Wettlaufer drawing the second assist, big save by Pessendorfer off the right pad. The wrist shot by Harthold kicked away. Cummings getting a rebound. Pleon playing it up the board for Wettlaufer now. Vandergunst has it broken up by Harthold. Harthold with the good scoring opportunity 20 seconds earlier smashing it off the right pad of Pessendorfer. Killens to the opposite side. Cleon, Cleon, his defense partner, plays it up the wall. The shot from Wettlaufer. Wettlaufer drawing the second assist on the Trevor Sauter goal. With 15.04 to go, in the second period. McAlvey wins the draw, pushes the puck to the corner, 
McCardell plays it off the board. The Cullitons trying to use their home rink to their advantage. That's the third consecutive shot down the near end wall. So trying to bank it off the wall and fool Kier. And they did on that second Stratford goal by Sauter. Sauter tucking in the backhand in the inside of the post past the left pad of Kier. Referee with his arm up, signaling a high stick. Josh Miller to the box for the Cullitons, or Miller to the bench, excuse me. He skated off into the general direction of the penalty box. Pereira to the box for the 99ers. The Cullitans go to the power play, looking to move out in front now, following the Trevor Sauter goal with 15.04 left in the second. The 99ers play at the length of the ice far side. O'Brien from center, poked away by Deleuze. It's played from the slot back to Curry, and the wrister by Curry on the forehand, handled in the left glove by Kier. Jordan Curry with 25 points on the year, three goals and 22 assists. The puck falling past Curry, right side of the line. Pessendorfer playing the puck off the far side. Curry now on the other side from the slot, plays it across for the other defender, and Pleon smashes it off the board on the far side. The puck going out the near wall. The 99ers touching the disc, but unable to clear the line at the right side. Centering pass. The shot by O'Brien off the right shoulder of Kier. The high shot by Shane O'Brien. Van Loyen tries to clear far side. Briscoe from the blue line. Beside his own bench now, tied up on the body check. Jordan Curry in there, Sauter as well. The puck frozen as everyone but the two defensemen, Pleon and Van Loyen for Brantford involved in that play along the bench. Thirty-seven seconds left in the penalty to Ryan Pereira. The Cullitons win the draw. Killens over the far side, backhands it in, and chases after his own pass. Wetlaufer plays it around the far side. Killens back to the half wall. Heyman leaves it for the player at the end line, gets it back. The cross ice pass by Heyman to Miller. Heyman back to the left side. And Bastion trying to move in shorthanded. Throw into the ice by Josh Miller. So Brantford clearing the puck through center ice. And Bastion picking it up, getting in past the defender. But Killens hauling down Bastion on the way to the net. So the Cullitans to the power play in four seconds. 142 to the midway point of the game. Palillo late to the draw, so the referee dropping the puck. McDonald easily backhands it to the defender. Brantford gathering in possession. The shot by Stratford shorthanded. Brooks the shot from the left dot, and Kier hanging on in the midsection. So the 99ers to the power play now. 
as Killen sits in the penalty box. Bastion out on the ice looking for the goal after, or a goal rather, after he was tripped up by Killens earlier. Bastion plays it ahead for Palillo down the right wing. Atkins around the defender, Pleon. Goes out the near side, Alvestad banking it off the board. The shot by Bastion just wide. Atkins playing it off the boards, looking for the hat trick. So now Brantford playing the shots wide off the end boards as well. Palillo looking to go in three on two with Ney on his left side, Adkins to his right, and Adkins plays it back to the defender on the left side, Ferris, the shot blocked, Pleon clears it down the ice before going off on a change. Sauter in behind the defense. So Sauter in shorthanded with 33 seconds left in the Riker Killens penalty. Penwarden plays it around the boards. Curry, the shot high and out of play into the netting out the far side. Curry, the big shot from the right side of the line. No one around him, but the shot arcing high and out of play out the far side. McAlvey to take the draw. Penwarden tried to move forward. McAlvey had a opportunity for a shot, but the 99er is able to clear. Stratford throws it right back in deep behind Kier's net. Ferris forechecked by McAlvey, skates back around the far side. Harthold picks it up at center, plays it around the board. Miller to the half wall. McArdle rings it around the board opposite side. Play broken up by Briscoe, he goes to the bench. Curry plays it down the far wall for the Cullitans. Pass to Camacho, left wing at center. Deleuze chips it ahead back for Camacho. And Camacho now tied up beside his own bench. Baker, the back pass, Miller beyond his end line. Miller moving the puck out from his own end. The pass over two lines for Tyson Baker, mishandled Fitzpatrick, shoots it back in. Brantford turns it over. Baker right back to the attack over the left wing. And Baker now, the 99ers, Van Loyen, and some shots to Van Loyen. Some right hands by, I can't see who that is. The Stratford players back to the play. Tyson Baker smashing Anthony Van Loyen with right hands and dropping Van Loyen onto the back of the Brantford net. Trevor Sauter with the only second period goal off the assist from Josh Miller and Dylan Wetlofer with 15.04 to go in the second. The Culletons tying things up here in period number two. The 99ers going to the intermission at the end of one with a 2-1 lead off the strength of the two Mitch Atkins goals at 38 seconds and at 19.52. Tonight's game presented by Rogers Television. Please remember to visit www.gojhl.ca for all your up-to-date scores and information, stats and standings in the world of junior B hockey. The Culletons looking to tie the Cambridge Winterhawks for the fifth spot here tonight. And the 99ers looking to get back within striking distance of the eighth and final playoff spot held by the Brampton Bombers, 11 points ahead of them going into tonight's action.
Play whistled in. Face off left circle out to the right of Andre Kier. Sauter and Bastian tie up in the circle. Bastian tries to kick it back to Zemenko, and Zemenko finally backhands it down the far wall out to the end line, far corner. Van Loyen out for the game. Van Leeuwen drawing the extra two minutes. So Stratford on the power play for another minute 20. Killens over the right side of the line, drops for Templeman. And Nathan Templeman with the hard snapshot off to the near corner and Kier making the save on the left shoulder. Under eight to go now, second period of play. Trevor Sauter registering his 40th point on the year, his 16th goal on the year after that second Stratford goal. Wetlofer throws it to the near corner. Played out in front of the net and the puck off the stick of Mitch Brooks into the far corner. Brooks looking for a scoring chance moving into the slot. Pereira serving the Brantford penalty. The extra two minutes to Van Leeuwen and the 99ers on the penalty kill for another 35 seconds. Side of the net and they score. Down underneath the play, under the right circle, was Nathan Templeman. The cross ice feed slipped it inside the near post, and the Nathan Templeman goal moves the Stratford Cullitans out to a 3 2 lead with 7.09 to go in the second period. Heyman to the other defender, McCardle. McCardle plays it down the boards. In deep is Mitch Vandergunst, and he's throwing with the upper body by Nate Ferris. Briscoe through center for Nate. Nate plays it down the right wing. He shoots and scores. So John Nay right back with the equalizer for the 99ers. So Templeman scoring with a little over seven minutes to go in the second. John Nay in the slot for the 99ers replies with the 3-3 goal with 6.44 remaining. Pessendorfer now skating to the Stratford bench. Nick Caldwell to take his spot. Pessendorfer slamming the door in frustration. So Caldwell seeing some action. A little strange to see a replacement in goaltender in a tie game. Nigro the shot in between the pads. Nigro nearly pouncing on the rebound. The Cullitans moving down on the two on one. McKelvey on his left side. So at 13 16, or with 6.44 to go in period number two, the 99ers tie things right back up seconds later. Nathan Templeman scoring on the shot along the ice below the right circle inside of seven minutes. Gross from center, 
Nigro over the right side now, centering pass for Gross, and Gross sliding the shot to the left side. The shot from the blue line by McAlvey, hammered wide near corner. Killens through center, Nigro behind the defense, and it goes a little bit ahead of Nigro and Kier out to play the puck. The referee signaling a slashing with his right hand. So Nick Nigro apparently in with the slash to get in behind the Brantford defender. Templeman on the third goal, his fifth on the year. Brantford winning the draw, playing it around the boards. Penwarden from the end line, and Brantford to the power play, looking for the fourth and go-ahead goal for the 99ers. John Ney with the third Brantford goal, his ninth on the season. Harthold on the power play, in behind the net, tries to play it back for the defender to lose too high, and now Briscoe and Pleon exchanging right hands. Briscoe missing. Briscoe now trying to go up over top of Pleon. And Briscoe using his upper body, not landing too many of those punches, but Briscoe using his size to put Pleon down to the ice. Some right hands exchanged by both players. And the two fighters done for the night. Briscoe's shots not really connecting. He more so used his upper body to take Pleon down to the ice. So 127 to go in the minor penalty to Nick Nigro. And providing these are offsetting penalties, the Culletons should remain on the power play with 4.59 to go, second period of play. Bastion and Sauter discussing things with the four referees out the far side. Sauter finished with his conversation, skating off to the Stratford bench. Two minutes showing to the 99ers, so perhaps Briscoe to draw a two-minute instigator on the play. Nothing up on the board for the Cullitons. The two minute, or the two rather, five minute penalties for fighting obviously coming up. Camacho to serve the Brantford penalty. So the teams will play four aside for a minute 26 before the Cullens go to a short power play. Sauter digs it out. Curry top of the line below the left circle. The shot off the mask of Kier by Mitch Brooks. Atkins, the shot by Bastion. Bastion, Killens unable to find Bastion on that far side and Bastion firing a wrist shot to the far corner. Caldwell making the save. Sauter inside the right circle, plays it back in to the near side Brantford net. Alvestad over center, skates over the right side, inside the right circle now. Bastion tied up in the corner, Deleuze to the far side, Alvestad at the half wall, checked by Captain Jordan Curry. Deleuze, the cross ice feed, Alvestad leaves it, and it ends up in behind the net for Guy Polillo. Killens past the end line. 
avoids the check of Ney, slides it across to the other defender, and Curry dumps it in deep off the deflection by Sauter, who goes off, or skates off to the Stratford bench, rather. Stratford now on the power play for 28 seconds. Stratford will look for a set play off the draw to find their fourth goal. The Cullitons with a lead briefly before John Ney replied at 13-16 to tie things up. Pass back to the point for Killens. He misses the pass, Caldwell out to play it. Up for the left defender. McArdle plays it up the boards. McArdle from the left side now, the shot. Side of the net, Croft looking for a rebound. He's now in behind the Brantford net, angled out toward the far side. Nigro to O'Brien, back to Miller. Miller plays it in deep past the end line. O'Brien turns around, throws it back behind the near side of the board, and McArdle off the blue line far side to play the disc for the Cullitons. Fitzpatrick around the far side, cut off by Curry, the shot, and O'Brien looking for the deflection. A bunch of players for both teams in the crease. As Kier making the save at the top of the crease, angled to the far side. Two twenty-one remaining in period number two. The 99ers with a 2-1 lead at the first intermission. Jake Pleon with the only Stratford goal in the first with 4.42 left. And then Trevor Sauter, 4.56 into period number two. Templeman cross ice feed. Dylan Wetlaufer wide open at the left dot. Shot by Curry. Goes around the boards out the near side, picked up at the half wall before it's finally tossed out by Alvestad. Heyman throws it right back in. Vander Guns to the corner. He hits his man Deleuze. The whistle going. And Deleuze throw into the ice. Vander Gunst in on top of him at the far corner. Pereira pushing and shoving with Nathan Templeman. And now everyone pushing and shoving down in the far corner. Similar to the action we saw in front of Kier about a minute ago as Stratford looked to move out in front by a score of four to three approaching the intermission. 140 to go now, Cullitans and 99ers tied up at three. Tonight's GOJHL Midwestern Conference game presented by Rogers Television. Check local listings for air dates in your area. We're editing live so as memory serves we should be to air at some point tomorrow. That is Saturday, January the 11th, usually in the evening time slot. McKelvey and Bastion to take the draw. McKelvey wins it, throws it to the corner. Atkins looking for the disc with 131 to go. Gross picks it up instead, backhands it down the near side, and McArdle shoots it in deep from the red line. Ferris down the right wing for Bastion. A whistle on the play as Kier gloving it down. So offsetting minors. 
Both teams remain five on five. Roughing after the whistle to the two players down on the far corner. Shot by Killens to the near corner. Bounces off the glass. Out in front is Brooks. Croft shoveling a pass to Brooks. And Brooks open momentarily. The puck moving out of play far side. Sauter to take the draw. Brooks off to his right. Versami takes the draw for Brantford. Versami wins the draw. It's poked ahead for a brief second before Brantford able to clear the zone off the stick of Harthold. Caldwell plays the puck around the boards. Curry, the pass too far for Croft. Alvestad plays it back inside the Stratford line on the left side. Under 30 seconds to go now. Brooks up the board, turns it over to Versami. Ferris plays it back for Alvestad. Alvestad to the center ice red line, bounces off Cummings at the far side. He gets it back, drops it to Alvestad. Alvestad playing it back to the red line and off the turnover, Mitch Brooks off the right wing, winds up and fires a hard wrist shot at Kier. Kier making the necessary save at the top of the paint off to the near corner. Just 2.3 to go in period number two now. Trevor Sauter off the assist from Josh Miller and Dylan Wetlofer with 15.04 to go in the second. The Cullitans tied the game at that point at two. Templeman around seven minutes to go, putting the Cullitans out in front. And then John Ney tying the game, snapping a wrist, uh, wrist shot past Passendorfer. Passendorfer then replaced in favor of Nick Caldwell. Nay scoring at 13-16. And at the second intermission, it's the Stratford Cullitans and Brantford 99ers all tied up at three. Talk about the trade deadline. Absolutely, you know, we're, we're a team that I think when it starts out at the, the start of the year, and we like the players that we've got, we make a commitment to them as uh, to play for the Stratford Cullitans and, and for them to give their best. And we got to do a job for them. You know, the kids get settled into school, um, and, and their families are comfortable here. And we like to have a good setting that we don't wheel and deal a whole lot of players. Uh, that that the commitment goes both ways. And saying that, you know, absolutely, we like to get get ourselves a little stronger. Um, going to the playoffs, everybody's looking for a defensive movement. But if it's not the right fit or it's at the expense of another player, you know, it's, sometimes it's just not the best uh, the best move on our behalf. So we'll, you know, we've got to uh, we got to league final three of the last four years, and we've we've pretty much stayed what we've got. We're in a rebuilding year this year, so I don't want to kind of sacrifice any players of the future for for you know a playoff run this year. Cullens and 99ers all tied up at three as Bastion wins the draw. The back pass to Alvestad shot through the neutral zone, picked off by the Cullitans, and Kier out behind his own net to play the disc out beyond the far side. Palillo to Bastion. Bastion winds up. He shoots and scores. Nathan Bastion 
Off the Guy Palillo pass. Bastion breaking down the right wing and finding lots of room on the far corner. Bastion hitting the top corner with a rising slap shot. 23 seconds into period number three. Play in behind the Brantford net. Fitzpatrick tying up Trevor Sauter. Gives it to Brooks off to his right side. Brooks skates to the near side. Harthold the shot for Sammy. So another two on one developing for the 99ers. Harthold sliding it over the opposite side this time for Versami. Versami shooting it out of play. Bastion from Adkins. Adkins, his third point on the night, the two first period goals and the one assist at 23 seconds for his third point. And Guy Palillo drawing his 38th point on the season. Alvastad playing it through center. Penwarden the short pass too far for Versami and Gross plays it down the left wing. It bounces off Nigro. The defender goes immediately to Drew Gross up two lines and Gross breaking in alone on Kier, the Brantford goaltender. Drew Gross bearing down on Kier, angled toward the far side. The long pass to the far blue line. And Brant or Stratford rather. Stratford's Drew Gross with the Opportunity to move the Cullitons back to four. The 99ers moving ahead at 23 seconds off the Nathan Bastion goal. Bastion picking the top corner far side. Fitzpatrick inside his own line, plays it off the board and out the other side. Deleuze the back pass. Penwarden plays it far side for Pereira and Killen shoots it in from the neutral zone. Fitzpatrick taking it away, bouncing it down the board near side. Pereira hooks his man, Killens, up under the right shoulder. Fans yelling for a call, but Killens back to pick up the disc on the right side. The pass to Wetlaufer. Killens wasting no time getting back to the attack. The shot by McDonald now. The rebound out the left side. Bastion ahead for Atkins. Too far for him. Atkins tries to move his body in behind Killens. The initial chance by Bastion. Bastion then open in the slot. The team's going end to end in the last minute. Palillo banking it off the boards and down the ice. Back and forth are the two teams. The Cullitans looking for the tying goal. The 99ers looking for their fifth. He shoots and scores. Jordan Curry right off the draw. The back pass to Curry. And Curry shooting it into the bottom half off the far side. With 16.42 to go in the third, the Cullitans tie it up once again at four.
Gross, the shot off the outside of the right pad of Kier, and Kier directs it out of play. So Gross, Drew Gross obviously getting a short tip down inside the far corner. Gross with that earlier breakaway chance, bearing down on Kier, the net knocked off at the far side. This time Gross getting the equalizer at 318 off the assist from the right side of the blue line by Captain Jordan Curry. The puck shot the length of the ice down underneath the end line, far side for a faceoff. Brantford zone. Cummings plays it up the left wing for Sammy trying to leave the zone tied up at the half wall. Zemenko losing possession and the quick shot by Croft up underneath Luke Harthold. Croft Moving around Harthol for the shot low to the ice, far side. Turning around as Brooks, he's checked in the near corner by Versami. Played up and around the board. Sauter plays it for Croft. Croft now tied up as Deleuze tries to fall on the puck in behind the Brantford net. Both teams having trouble moving it from behind the spot directly behind Kier. Zemenko past the end line. For Sammy at the end line to the half wall for Harthold. And through center comes Cummings. Zemenko trying to tip it out to the far corner along the ice. Camacho at the blue line, far side, dumped in by McAlvey and Kier out to play the disc to Ferris, now moving at his own blue line. The pass to the other side, the other blue line for Camacho. Too far, Killens picks it up. Skates hard around the net, out the far side, flips a backhand to the end line, rebound to Drew Gross looking for his second. And Gross with two whacks away at it out the near corner. Killens with a backhand pass. Gross underneath the left circle with two stabs at it. But with 14.05 to go, we're still all knotted up at four. Brantford 99ers and Stratford Cullitons. The Cullitans looking for their 10th home win on the year. The 99ers looking for their fourth road win, their eighth win overall on the season. The 99ers, an expansion club, struggling a bit on the year. Alvastad trying to cut off Wetlofer on the way to the net. Alvastad looking for a hard hit. And Alvastad still looking for that hard body check on Wetlofer at the far side. The 99ers able to clear. Caldwell leaving it for Miller, the defender. Miller plays it up the half wall. McCardle, the shot, hit the outside of the right skate of Fitzpatrick. Stratford retaining possession. Miller can't hang on at the top of the blue line. Miller looked to have a good shot at a scoring chance top of the blue line, but it didn't work out for him. Dumped back in deep by the 99ers as for Sammy Forchecks. Played down the wall by Harthol in deep. The puck now in behind the Brantford net. Harthold to the other side, Cummings bodying himself around Heyman. Cummings falling to the ice, nearly getting a shot away to the near corner anyways. Zemenko falling down, Wetlofer to the far side. 
tried to cut off the left wing to the forehand and tuck it in at the far corner, but the puck bouncing off the stick of Wetlawford. Delayed call now. Croft, the sixth attacker on for the Cullitons. Heyman plays it off the glass. In for Zemenko. Zemenko losing possession. Hartholt backhands it up to the blue line. The shot, the rebound. Brooks side of the net. Croft as well. Heyman the shot. McDonald off the bench for the Cullitons. And the Cullitons applying massive pressure. And the whistle finally going. I thought a penalty was being called. It looked like the 99ers touched up several times. Yeah, because Devin Croft jumped into the play from in behind the blue line. But obviously just a line change that I never saw. Coming to the far side as it's hammered in by Hartholt. McDonald in behind the net. Leaves it for Killens. Killens up through center in behind the back of O'Brien. And Alvestad plays it up the near wall. McDonald intercepts and places it back to Killens in behind the Stratford net. Camacho far side through neutral ice. Pereira down the left wing, fires a shot wide and out the near corner. McArdle in behind the net, plays it up the boards. The shot by Fitzpatrick hits the end wall, comes out the near side. A player aside, Ney and McDonald trying to dig it out from beyond the end line. Fitzpatrick moves off the far side, tries to glove it down with the left hand. O'Brien able to knock it out, and McDonald sticks it ahead and goes off on a change. Alvestad behind his own net as we hit the midway point of the third. Caldwell plays it up and around the board. The shot bouncing off his padding. Nigro shooting it in and Pierre making the save at the near side. Actually a little bit hard to see that it is Caldwell in the Stratford net as his, the back of his sweater that features his name tucked in at the left side toward his lower body. Caldwell, of course, replacing Michael Pessendorfer after the 3-3 goal scored by John Ney of the 99ers at 13-16 of period number two. Bastion for the 99ers at 23 seconds and Drew Gross off the deflection right side of the blue line by Jordan Curry at 318. We sit at 4-4 with 8.55 to go in period number three. Here's a break for Nigro, the shot and the hard slap shot into the stomach of Kier by Nick Nigro. The Cullitans looking to move to 35 points on the year and tie the Cambridge Winterhawks. McArdle backhands it in deep from center. Kier out to play it. Elva Stad out the near side for Cummings at the half wall. McArdle tosses it back in with a high wrist shot off the far glass, the puck coming to the near end line. Versami out the far side. It's shot in and the tricky shot by Heyman, perhaps bouncing on the way to the net and Kier sticking out 
the right pad to make the save at the near corner. Elvestad to the neutral zone. The pass too far for Luke Hartholt. Pass down the right wing. Wetlaufer tries to play it in deep. He's bodied off the puck by Fitzpatrick. Vandergunst and Deleuze, top of the left side of the blue line, nearest our camera location, as now three players aside tie up the puck on the near corner. Sauter twisting and turning, looking for some room, drops it for Curry, the centering pass off the right leg of Wetlaufer. Curry back top of the blue line, and Sauter tosses a wrist shot toward the net, off to the far side. Killens picking up the rebound before losing possession to Fitzpatrick. Curry inside the end line. The pass ahead down the left wing to Killens. Camacho falling down inside the Stratford line but managing to play it deep. And Curry throwing at the length of the ice down the Near side was 6.42 to go in the third period. The 99ers decide on a last minute change, a fresh set of legs. Palillo and Sauter tie up. Sauter eventually able to get the back pass away, now backhands it down the far wall, Croft stops at the circle and at the lowest point of the right circle, fires a wrist shot, Kier with the glove save at the far post. McDonald tosses it to the corner off the one draw, Bastion to Atkins, Atkins through center down the right wing bearing down on Croft and pins him up in the corner near side by the end line. O'Brien digs it free. Wetlaufer giving it back to O'Brien through center and winding up is Shane O'Brien and smashing a shot above the pad and below the elbow of Kier. O'Brien trying to catch the near corner with a shot halfway up the net. O'Brien another shot. Same idea going to the left side. Kier sticking out the pad at the near corner. Heyman has it chopped away by Cummings. Cummings with the body check down the near side below the end line. For Sammy, loses his stick, so he goes to the bench. Wetlaufer skates it in deep, and with the wraparound, Wetlaufer going from the far side and firing a shot below the left circle. Kier cutting the angle at the near side. 5.03 to go. Period number three. The 99ers looking to move to within nine points of that final playoff spot. The Bombers usually in action at home on Friday nights. Please remember to check www.gojhl.ca for your standings and updates as the air date in your region will change. Likely to be tomorrow, Saturday night, the airing. Check your local listings for details. Heyman through center. McCalvey 
tries a downward chop past Alvestad. Inside five to go now. 4.16 remaining in the third. Heyman throws a shot off the board far side. It comes out the near corner and Atkins playing it back to the neutral zone. Alvestad through center. A long shot, a step off the red line off the right shoulder of Caldwell. Palillo picks it up, centering pass, and Atkins, the shot wide, looking for his third. Atkins now tied up in that far corner as the whistle goes, as well as Palillo and McArdle. Face off from the right circle off to the left glove side of Caldwell. Bastion to Fitzpatrick. Bastion winning the draw and Fitzpatrick wrapping it around the net. The puck going out the far side, centering pass under the left circle. Three on one developing, bearing down the wing and the pass to Croft. The pass just off the blade of Croft. Brooks in there. Brooks with that initial pass to Croft, and now Croft trying again past the end line, fires a backhand below the circle wide to the near corner. Tied up half wall, Sauter plays it out the near side, can't find room to clear the puck, so he drops it to Brooks. Adkins now at center. Back checked by Sauter. Sauter getting a stick in the face as the Brantford player Palillo skates to the bench. Sauter backhanding it in and going off himself. Cummings playing the disc at the half wall. It bounces off for Sammy and goes right back along the ice to Kier at the near side. Templeman to take the draw inside the left circle Brantford zone. Versami throwing out of the draw. He moves off to the right wing instead. Cummings to take it to Ferris. Losing possession and the Cullitans trying to capitalize on the turnover. Nathan Templeman firing it above the left circle, wide of the net to the far side. 2.09 to go in regulation. Ferris tries to play it up the wall. He shoots and scores. Another turnover. So the second turnover within 30 seconds. And Mitch Vandergunst deposits the puck in the slot to the near corner. Up underneath the up underneath the right shoulder of Kier. And Mitch Vandergunst with 2.02 to go gives the Cullitans the lead. Vandergunst on the turnover. It didn't take long. So Wettlaufer behind the net sends it out to Vandergunst and Vandergunst on the forehand throws it halfway up the net underneath the shoulder of Kier. And at 17.58, the Cullitans take the lead shot wide by Riker Killens. Deleuze from center through the neutral zone. The shot along the ice kicked aside by Caldwell. So the 99ers facing the possibility of another tough loss, which would be their 26th on the year. 
if they can't respond here with 1.16 to go. So recapping your score, Mitch Adkins with two first period goals for the 99ers at 38 seconds and with eight seconds left in the first, Pleon scoring for the Collettons with 4.42 left in the first. So the Collettons on top, two to one at the first intermission. Sauter from Miller and Wetlofer with 15.04 to go. Nathan Templeman around the seven minute mark. And then John Nay from Scotty Penwarden at 13.16. The 99ers and the Cullitans tied up at three going into the second intermission. Alvestad turnaround shot, rebound, a sprawling save, a huge save by Caldwell on Bastion. Bastion falling to the ice, the initial shot by Alvestad top of the line. Bastion diving at the far side trying to tip it in at the far post, but Caldwell diving across along the ice at the far side with 101 to go, third period of play. Last minute of play in the third period. As we hit the last minute, Stratford able to clear the net now empty for the 99ers. Nay around the near side. The pass to Adkins hops over his stick. Brooks clearing it back in. Alvestad the backhand in deep behind the Stratford net. Palillo after it. McArdle tries to play it out. Palillo still down below the end line. And it's cleared out of play at the far side by Brett Heyman. 22.4 seconds remaining for the 99ers to tie this one up. The 99ers taking the lead at four to three at 23 seconds of the third off the Nathan Bastion goal. But the Cullitans getting the last two goals. Cleared out on the draw. Gross the shot looking for a second and he scores. Drew Gross with his second goal of the third period. Gross getting the fourth goal at 318, and now the empty net goal with 15.3 seconds to go. Icing the win for the Cullitans. Vandergunst on the turnover from, on the Dylan Wetlaw for assist at 17.58. Moving the Cullens out in front five to four. And now Gross with the empty net goal with 15.3 to go. For Sammy tosses it to the neutral zone. One last chance for the 99ers, but it's played up the wall down the left wing. Wet Lawford to the blue line and for Sammy plays it to the neutral zone. The buzzer goes. Drew Gross with two third period goals. Mitch Vandergunst with the go ahead third period 5-4 goal at 17.58. Tonight's final score, the Stratford Cullen six and the Brantford 99ers four. For Rogers Television, I'm John Molson. Please join us at the end of the month for our next telecast as the Brantford 99ers host the Cambridge Winterhawks. Please check the Rogers website for air dates in your region. Once again, tonight's final score, the Stratford Culleton 6 and the Brantford 99ers 4. Good night.